Alright, welcome back. We've got our post-mission talk to people going on. Mm -hmm. I've heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. Obviously he is too. He's doing this mission gratis. What's your concern? I don't like mercenaries. An assassin is just a precise mercenary. An assassin is a weapon. A weapon doesn't choose to kill. The one who wields it does. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. He seems quite civil. All right, give him a chance, Don Jacob. We need all the help we can get. He's not what I expected in an assassin. He may surprise you. Yeah, and he may not. So now that I've collected up all the dude bros, I can go have a chat with um, the elusive men to proceed with the game. Morden is already ready to go. Let's check out our uh, upgrades. Normally I'd do this off screen, but I mean, at this point there's really not much to talk to with my... Uh, Friendos, because Morn's got his loyalty mission ready to go. Uh, pretty much everybody does, except for Garrus, Grunt, Tali, and Thane. Oh, another dangerous alien aboard, Commander. Thanks. Why can't you collect coins or commemorative plates or something? Oh, that's boring. I assume everything is going well up here. Good for now. Fractured my thumb. See you, Commander. Yo, Kelly! I'm surprised by Thane's spiritual side. His psych profile mentioned little of it. And he carries himself with such cold confidence. I'm not sure if I find him scary or sexy. How about both? A lot of women like bad boys. That is a dirty stereotype. In my case, it happens to be true, but still. <laughs> anyway, what's up? Hey, I represents that remark. Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Grunt seems very anxious, Oop. pacing down in the cargo hold. You might want to check in on him. Anything else, Commander? I'll be here if you Grunty boy is ready Commander, for his loyalty. A new message at your private terminal. Let's head on down, have a little chit chat with Gara, see if he's got anything new to say to us. the new supplies to good use yeah not a problem and now that i've got all of the recruitable characters for now i will be doing the loyalty Shepherd, mission starting next episode need me for something have you got a minute can it wait for a bit i'll be here if you need me Actually, I think next episode I'll do Liara's Shadow Broker mission, get that DLC mission out the way. Yo, Grunt! Chambers said you're tearing up the place. Something wrong? Something is wrong, Shepard. I feel wrong. Tense. I just want to kill something with my hands. More so than usual. Like it's not my choice. Like I just want to. I don't know. See? Why do that? What's wrong? Okir didn't imprint anything to help you figure this out? I see pictures of old battles, voices of warlords. But this is. Blood haze in my head. I want control. Moving, fighting. I fo 
focus. But here, my blood screams, my plates itch, and even you are just noise. I'm tank-born. What is this? Edie, anything in your files about Krogan diseases that could cause this? Cerberus has a number of autopsies on file, but nothing on a living Krogan of this age and situation. Krogan are reluctant to share medical records. My people were defeated by doctors and labs. They will never let stuff like that leave the home world of Tuchanka. Well, then let's go to Tuchanka. Joker can get us to the Krogan home world. I need everyone at their best. Thank you, Shepard. I don't like this. Fury is my choice, not a sickness. Hey, Tali. Kenneth, what has the new shielding done to your power grid balance? Not much. With built-in capacitor subsystems, they have a surprisingly low draw. Doesn't that mean the shielding boost wouldn't last long under fire? True. They're built for hard, fast strikes, not firefights of attrition. Shepard, what can I Have you I got do? time to talk? I really need to clean up the dead. Yeah, I'll nothing with Tully and uh, Garrus for now. Jack is already ready to go. How about Zaid? Back for another lesson. Nice ship you got here. Roomy. Last ship I worked on, two men couldn't walk past each other in the hall unless they were really good friends. I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. I think that one's a repeat. Guess your elusive man's big on forgiveness. Definitely repeat. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Alright, so now we've just got Samara, Kiara, and Best Boy Thane. I was just thinking about you. Joker and Edie are like an old married couple. I know, it's I amazing. expecting to walk in on them bickering about the temperature in the cockpit. <laughs> Edie has a wicked sense of humor. Or I should say, a really funny lack of one. Sometimes she seems like a person. But when it comes down to it, I can't get past her being a computer. This one security guy keeps staring at me. I think his name is Bert. I'm used to being watched by security. But they're usually staring at my eyes or watching my hands. I might have to start cloaking through the CIC from now on. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Hey, Thane. Do you need something? Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. First things first. We need to have the best equipment possible to take on the collectors. Do you have any leads I could chase down? My old contact network often located rare equipment for me. Would you like me to get in touch with them? Yes. Let's see what they've got. So, Ship Enhancements 1 gives us a modular probe bay. 100% efficiency on probe capacity. So basically we just got uh, doubled up probe gas... Uh, 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 doubled up on our efficiency and uh, extra probes. Do you need something? Do you mind if I ask you Not a at all. Question? The Drell live on the Hanar homeworld, don't they? Yes. I know many think the Han are difficult to understand. It's just that they're very formal with those they don't know. We know them quite well. If you ever get close enough to a Han that they tell you their soul name, you would find them warm. I thought that Han only let very close friends know their soul name. Most of my commissions were for Han I grew close to my regular contacts. Soul names tend to be poetic. A Han known for its cynicism might take a name that means illuminates the folly of the dancers. Hanar talk using bioluminescence. That's more of an obstacle than their politeness. True. Many Drell have had their eyes genetically modified to perceive their higher frequency flashes. I had the treatment. I can't tell the difference between a dark red and black, but I can see ultraviolet light as a silver color. When you pray for the wicked, who exactly are you praying to? That depends on the circumstance. To find my target, I speak with them on Kira, Lord of Hunters. When I act to defend another, Arashu, goddess of motherhood and protection. And when I have taken my target, I speak with Kalahira, goddess of oceans and the afterlife. 
I didn't know that Drell had many gods. It's one of our older beliefs. Many embrace the Hanar and Kindlers now, or the Asari philosophies. The old ways are dying. There are so many ways to interpret one's place in the universe. Who needs the wisdom of our ancestors? The younger generations don't believe they can help us fathom genetic engineering, orbital strikes, or alien races. Oceans of afterlife don't seem to have much in common. Ah. Consider, the ocean is full of life. Yet it is not life as you and I know it. To survive there, we must release our hold on land, accept a new way to live. So it is with the death. The soul must accept its departure from the body. If it can't, it will be lost. There's something else I'd like to talk about. Ask. Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other Drell. It's called Keprel Syndrome. Are you going to be all right until the end of the mission? I should be fine for another eight to 12 months. The more time I spend in human environments, the faster it progresses. I think it's safe to say that by the time my body is incapacitated, we'll be victorious. Or dead. Either way, I won't be a burden to you. What exactly is the problem? My people are native to an arid world. Most of us now live on Kaje, the Hanar homeworld. It's very humid and rains every day. Our lungs can't deal with the moisture. Over time, the tissue loses its ability to absorb oxygen. It becomes harder to breathe. Eventually, we suffocate. Can't they do something about that? The Hanar have funded a genetic engineering program. They should be able to adapt us. The project has only been running for a few years. I don't believe my body will still draw breath by the time it bears fruit. Then don't live on Kaji, or use breathers. Drell have a close relationship with the Hanar. We rely on each other. The best we can do is keep our homes very dry inside. Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If the finest medical minds in the Hanar illuminated primacy can't solve the problem, I doubt her ship's medic could. Thank you for your concern. Trust me, this won't affect my performance. Don't underestimate Dr. Chakwas. Do you need some? Have a few minutes to talk. Later. I'd like to consider what we've already discussed. I should go. I shall return to my meditations. All right. Hey, Samara. I wanted to check in. I am always happy to talk with you. I'm interested in hearing more about Asari Justicars. We hold a unique place in Asari culture. Justicars are from another era. Young Asari grow up watching vids about our adventures. Pure fiction, of course. Some Asari are uncomfortable with us, but so few Justicars exist that most have never met one. There were only a few Justicars? Few Asari wish to make the sacrifices necessary to become one of us, and the training has a high casualty rate. It is a life of constant danger. Throughout the entire galaxy, there are only a handful of us at any time. Why would anyone want to be a Justicar? It is a deeply personal matter. Sometimes the most brutal path is the only honest one. This code of the Justicar seems central to your life. It is 5,000 sutras and covers every situation one can encounter. I have memorized every word. There is only the code. Sometimes justice calls for mercy. It does not exist to bring about spiritual enlightenment. Its purpose is to punish the wicked and protect the innocent. The Asari I've spoken to seem conflicted about Justicars. In this age, people see shades of gray everywhere. The code of the Justicar is black and white. I might seem a hero to many, but I would kill all of them if I had to. What role do you think Justicars have in Asari society? I would say that the closest human equivalent is a knight errant in your medieval lore. Perhaps mixed with a bit of samurai. 
What does your code say about killing? I am compelled to kill the wicked. If a Justicar is involved, peaceful solutions are long past. You make killing sound so casual. I remember each being I have slain. They are always in my thoughts. Does the code forbid romantic involvement? It does not. However, I would never be interested in such. That part of my life is well behind me. <laughs> you know about knights errant and samurai? When I knew I must leave Asari space again, I studied the history and morals of new species. When I was a maiden wandering the galaxy, humans had not yet arrived. What did your studies tell you about us? You are more individualistic than any other species I have encountered. If three humans are in a room, there will be six opinions. I like your species. I am curious to see what you will do. That math doesn't check out. Shouldn't there be a minimum of nine opinions? Because you got the opinions for themselves. And two opinions for each, or one opinion each for themselves, two opinions each for the other two, if not more, with having one opinion with the combination of two for each. Ah, eh, we're not going to get into it. I should go. I'll talk to you later, Samara. I'm glad we spoke. All right. Back up this toilet. No messages for you, Commander. Says you. And next time. We'll be off to uh, start mopping up some loyalty missions. See you then. Cheers.